General Motors has been building small crossovers for more than a decade now, and it has sold more than 2 million Chevrolet Equinoxes since the model was first introduced for 2005. But despite all that apparent success, the Equinox has always been a bit too big, a bit too thirsty, and a bit too cheaply made to truly penetrate the heart of the market, where the best-selling Honda CRV, Toyota RAV4, and Ford Escape reside. With the all-new, third-generation Equinox, GM finally seems to have figured out what matters in this contentious segment. Fully modern and right size rather than oversize, this redesigned 2018 Equinox strikes us as the first Chevy crossover that could truly make inroads against the segment leaders. It starts with the new Equinox's smaller and lighter body. Compared with its predecessor, the 2018 model's wheelbase is 5.2 inches shorter, its length shrinks by 4.7 inches, and its curve weight is reduced by a claimed 400 pounds. Whereas the outgoing, second-generation Equinox shared much of its underpinnings with the original model dating all of the way back to 2005, this one truly is capital N new throughout, with significantly higher torsional rigidity than before. Indeed, the new Equinox soaks up bumps with nary a quiver through the cabin. There's remarkably little body roll and the ride is expertly damped, with well-controlled wheel motions and no sensation of body float. Road and wind noise are impressively hushed, something that two of our favorite small crossovers, the CRV and the Mazda CX-5, struggle with. Combine the Equinox's overall sense of solidity with its nicely weighted, accurate steering and firm, progressive brake pedal, and it adds up to impressive dynamic capabilities. The Equinox hits a snag when you examine its pricing. Yes, Chevrolet offers a bargain basement front-drive only L trim for just under $25,000, which lines up with the base prices of key competitors. But to get any active safety systems, or even relatively common must-have features such as automatic climate control and heated seats, you have to shell out for the LT model and add a pricey option package, pushing the cost toward $30,000, and beyond if you opt for the $1,750 all-wheel drive option. Some of the premier models we drove exceeded $35,000, and the diesel and 2.0T versions will be more expensive still. Perhaps most important, equivalently equipped CR Versus and CX-5s are thousands less, so unless Chevrolet is planning to offer heavy incentives from the get-go, the Equinox's value equation looks weak. Given the less-than-stellar previous Equinox models, Chevrolet will face an uphill battle convincing Toyota, Honda, and Ford faithful to join the bow tie fold, especially if they have to pay more for the Chevy. But the new Equinox represents such a big step forward relative to its predecessors that it's certainly worth those buyers giving it a look.